Hello there and welcome to another 1000 subscriber special video and in this short video I'm gonna talk about my musical instruments, my equipment and uh, anything else I'm using for making my music. Uh, as far as you know, I'm technically a bass player, uh, so mostly I'm playing bass guitar. Uh, it's, well, 5 string bass, uh, Lepland Skyline 5502 Deluxe. Yep, uh, crafted in Indonesia and uh, designed it com and completed in USA, Chicago. Yep, uh, so what do we have here? It's um, uh, Ash body, as far as I, rem uh, I remember. Uh, cool maple top. And, uh, well, maple neck and maple fingerboard. Uh, here we also have uh, LH3 preamp with Lackland pickups and Man style. Yeah. Uh, preamp has um, active EQ with bass, mids, highs, whatever. And yeah, we also have Applejack sticker here. Uh, yeah, and mostly recognizable on YouTube with my bass guitar. <laughs> yeah, and I mean about that, but I have a rarity sticker here. Yep. So uh, I bought this bass in 2012, I guess. So like more than five years ago and um, I think literally all of my music uh, stuff with bass guitar were, uh, were recorded using this bass. Yeah. This one and only sweet bass guitar. Yeah. So far I'm satisfied with my bass but well I'm still dreaming of um, you know comping groove tools with seven or more strings for Extreme tapping stuff, yep. <laughs> and I'm also dreaming of 6 or 7 fretless space. I'm sure you all know how does my bass sound in my songs, in my music, uh, as well as probably some other tracks <laughs> in my bass, yep. <coughs> but, in case you're interested, how does it sound? Sound like it's this. Um, <laughs> So it sounds more spacey. <laughs> Thank you. 
about electric guitars, well, had a Chord Z40, I guess. That was my first electric guitar. And then I just sold it and, well, just borrowed a few guitars like Carvins, Fenders, Squires, Les Pauls and very many guitars. But um, two years ago I borrowed my sister's guitar. It's uh, a Venice uh, Geo GSA 16. Uh, it's, well, it looks nice and it sounds pretty good, I guess. Um, sorry, no specs. Mm, <laughs> because I, I just don't remember them. Yeah, and well, I get nothing to say except for this guitar sounds decent, really. So, let's hear one! <laughs> So, as you can see, I'm not a guitar player <laughs> at all, uh, so I'm just uh, trying to play my parts, uh, which I'm writing mostly in Guitar Pro, or just composing them using my instrument, something like that. So I'm just practicing and trying to play them, and recording, 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 re-recording, and record again. And of course I don't know anything about the right guitar tone, like those amplifiers, cabinets and stuff, it's just all the VST emulators in my Cubase. Um, but before we go to that part, with where my laptop stands, <laughs> yeah. uh, let me introduce my bass combo. So this is my Roland Microcube Bass RX, uh, very small and cute <laughs> bass combo amplifier and well it has tons of effects different effects um, yeah and like there are chorus, flanger, tiwa, uh, delay, reverb there's also drum machine, tuner mm, yeah, three banded EQ and compressor and it's all in one, yeah. I strongly recommend this one to those bass players who just <laughs> need a, a decent bass combo for home practicing and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm also using it to play in the streets and sometimes prefer anywhere else set my house. So these are my main instruments and well I don't have a MIDI keyboard, have only my piano, <laughs> yeah, which I can't actually record. So um, I also have two acoustic guitars, but 
these are my yeah I borrowed them for um, for my album but well they are still here I guess that means we can move to this part of my room where the laptop stands and the other stuff so let's just give me a second uh, first of all, let me introduce you to my uh, Hewlett Packard uh, Pro Book um, 4540S. Yeah. Um, yep. This is my laptop where I record, compose, mix, and master all of my music stuff. Yes. Everything thanks to this guy. And of course. My audio system, like it's just these are just uh, it, these aren't just uh, well technically um uh, they are they are definitely not the studio monitors I need <laughs> anyone needs uh, but well <laughs> I don't have any other options so old Soviet Russia serious. Uh, yeah, so this is how it looks like. Next thing i like to introduce is my microphone MXL 990. Uh, it's pretty cheap and still <laughs> good microphone, I'd say. Um, yeah, all my vocal stuff were <laughs> recorded using this microphone. I uh, remember I borrowed... Um, Audio Technica AT 2020 uh, back in uh, 2013 and 2014, I guess, until about this one. So now I'm recording using only this one. Yep. And of course my audio interface, which is connected to my laptop. Uh, so it's M Audio Fast Track USB interface. Yeah, it has. XLR, it has jack input and, well, phones. Yep, everything you need from the cheap device. Yeah, lots of quality, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, I'm satisfied with it. So, this is my nice and clean desktop, as you can see. And let's start with my dough. My door is Cubase 5. <laughs> yeah. I know there are much newer versions of it, but they are kind of expensive for me, so I just pirated Cubase 5 a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, let's talk about my covers, I guess. <laughs> uh, because this shows my other programs I'm using. So, uh, first of all, I'm using Transcribe. It's a very cool thing for doing songs by ear because, well, you can play anything, then you can use the keyboard to hear the pitch, and there's also a piano roll, so it's, it looks kind of muddy, but, well, it shows the main notes chords, the bass lines, everything else, so you can just transcribe it, yeah. You can slow uh, down the track, well, here's the EQ for selecting or removing certain frequencies, something. You can, uh, mono and karaoke, um, you can sh change the tuning, like switch the octaves, uh, semitones, you know, sense, if you want to, so, transpositions, baby, yeah, so, and, well, I'm just plugging my earphones and doing the sounds by ear, instrument by instrument, and then I'm writing them all down in Guitar Pro, like, yeah. Um, so I'm just writing the notes, the scores, I guess, 
also. So, <laughs> so I can just play them later. Record guitars, bass, and other stuff. Yeah. Uh, as you as you know already from my I guess uh, ETE work in progress videos, I'm writing down my drum parts in Guitar Pro as well. So I'm just writing them down, then exporting the MIDI file and then putting it into my Cubase. So yeah, this is how it works with covers. Yep. And talking about those and uh, well processing stuff, my VSTs, well, there are a lot of them. Uh, for different purposes, I guess. For my bass guitar, I'm using uh, Mark Bass Studio 2. Yeah, I like how it does it sound because, well, I I used uh, MPEG SVX. 2012 and 2013, probably 14, uh, but then switched to Mark Bass because of much nicer sound. Uh, there are lots of presets here, some random effects, and well, many different options. Sound, yeah, I like it. Uh, some basic EQing, um, compressor, yeah, this small tuner. Yeah, it's very simple. Uh, so yeah, this is it. Uh, for my guitars, I'm using uh, TSE X15 emulator. So this is the, the emulator of yes, uh, PV5150. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I. I just like the high gain sound of my guitar, so yeah, because I'm mostly playing metal songs after all, yeah, <laughs> so why not? Then I'm using Altalan uh, uh, cabinet impulses, so I'm just putting them in lead cap 2, it's free VST, so yeah, some basic keying, um, optional reverb, uh, Compressor, yeah, stuff like that. So uh, there are many presets, yeah. But well, <laughs> as I said before, for different purposes. Uh, talking about other other VSTs, uh, well, I'm using mostly uh, just simple default Cubase effects like. Chorus, flanger, phaser, um, sometimes tremor and vibrato. Um, just some default delay, mono stereo. Sometimes I can use also a path filter delay. A path filter Saturn for saturation. Yep. Um, Mm, uh, yeah, of course, that putter broke you for my EQing stuff. Um, mm, what else? What else? Sometimes I'm using. Uh, just default compressor from Reaper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, but to be honest, I'm mostly using VC. Compressors VC76, VC2A, and VC160. Yeah, uh, next, next, next. Yeah, I'm using default reverb, Roomworks, from Cubase. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, yes, this is it. And when, uh, when doing mastering, I'm using. Ozone 4. Yeah, it's kind of old version, but well, I'm still using it. <laughs> it works fine for me. I'm not a professional at all. So, yeah. So that's it. Now you know a little bit more about my equipment, my musical instruments, and my software I'm using for creating music. 
yeah, uh, so thanks for watching. Thanks for 1000 subscribers on my channel. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, share this video if you want to. Uh, yeah, stay metal and ponies.